Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, the birds are saying hi too. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day so far. As you can see, I'm outside. Okay. She said hello for a long time. Today, I decided to just go outside and film my intro because it was a really nice day and I thought this background looked really, really pretty and I'm also working on a lot of fun projects inside, so I figured I don't wanna clean everything up to film an intro, so I'm gonna be filming it outside for you guys today. Today, we are gonna be doing an Ikea hacks video, which I am so excited about because it's honestly one of my favorite videos to do, but as many of you guys know, with quarantine, I believe almost all the Ikea locations have been closed down, but they just recently reopened them and are practicing social distancing, so if you do wanna go Ikea stores, I believe are now open you might want to check your local one to see if it is oh my gosh i literally almost forgot guys that i did something exciting over the past couple of days i actually launched the lone fox blog which i didn't really talk about it much here on youtube but if you follow me on instagram i had a 15 day countdown i was so excited for it um and the blog is finally here so the blog is honestly just like an additional area for content for you guys so there's going to be tons of stuff on diy i want to do some cooking and baking posts travel lifestyle just tons of fun things and i actually actually have a kind of an introductory post over there if you want to check it out I will link it below for you guys and if you guys want updates on when I post new blog posts I would highly suggest following me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home that way you guys can get an update because I'll definitely be storying and also posting all of the new blog posts over there for you guys so you have first access okay I think that's really all let's jump into today's projects for this first project, I'm going to be using the Sim Rishham light fixture from Ikea. This is a tabletop light, and I believe it's around $29, and I also believe it is newer. They do also make this in a floor version as well, but I pulled out some of my marble contact paper, and this one kind of has a funky marble pattern on it. It has more of peachy tones, pink tones, and I cut a piece that was large enough to cover the top surface of the base, and I cut a slit down the middle because we're going to want to wrap this around the cord. As you can see here, I'm going to use that slit to be able to slide it through the cord space and then make sure that those pieces on the opposite side that we did cut just match up on the other side. And the seam is almost going to be completely unrecognizable, so do not worry about that at all. I then went in and used my X-Acto knife to cut around the hole that the cord was in just to give it a much more clean finish. And then I also decided to go around and use my X-Acto knife just to cut off all the extra contact paper around the edges. This was super easy because the base was like a very, very crisp metal edge. So I just had to guide my X-Acto knife along the edge and cut off anything extra. And I did want to wrap the bottom of the base as well. So I cut out a thin strip that was wide enough to cover the bottom, started the seam on the back side, and just wrapped this all the way around the bottom of the base of the light and when I reached the back side I just cut off the excess and then also use my exacto knife to trim away any additional contact paper. So we're going to now go in with some painter's tape to basically tape off the cord that we don't want spray painted and also tape off the light fixtures that of course we don't want to have paint inside of. So I use the painter tape to do that, put it in my spray paint box and use a matte black spray paint to paint the entire base of this light. I was really hoping to use my brass spray paint that I traditionally use and I pulled it out of my stash and it was legit empty. I was so sad. So I just ended up using matte black, which I think looked great as well. But I do think brass would just pair a little bit nicer and look a little bit more metallic, especially especially with that really pretty contact paper. So I sprayed that fully and let the paint dry. And then once it's fully dried and ready to go, you can just go ahead and screw it back together based off of the instructions and pull off any of that tape that you initially put on there. It comes with the light bulbs, which is really nice. And I just screwed on the little orbs onto each side. And that really finishes off this table lamp. You could style it on top of a mantle or a desk, whatever you wanna do. For our next project, I'm going to start off with the Trampa doormat from Ikea. And I found this idea on TikTok and I've been searching for it for over an hour prior to this voiceover and I cannot find it at all. I believe I saw it about maybe a year ago or so, but basically the girl flipped the doormat over and created a half circle shape, which is going to be the base of our rainbow. And I'm using some utility scissors to cut this out. But if any of you guys have seen this on TikTok, please let me know who created it originally because I would love to give credit to her. But the idea has just been stuck in my head for so long I really wanted to recreate it. So the great thing about these doormats is you can cut them to whatever shape you want them to be and then I'm using a half inch masking tape to go around the entire exterior edge and we're gonna then go in and kind of create our rainbow arches on the inside and you can vary the width of this. You can use a one inch wide tape, you can do a three inch wide uh, paint section, however many stripes you want to add. It's totally customizable and the colors are also customizable as well. So I started off with this really nice tan acrylic paint 
And I would also suggest guys that this doormat is not in like some insane high traffic muddy area. This is just more of like a cutesy doormat. Like if you're gonna walk on it, of course it's totally fine. But if you're also running in the door with muddy feet every single day, this probably isn't your best option. But I went in with some light pink, some gray, some yellow, some blue, and some green, just to kind of resemble a little bit more of a minimal rainbow tone. And I also wanted to create this because I thought it was super appropriate in honor of Pride Month this month. I thought this was a really, really nice piece and I can't wait to display it outside of my door. The best part, honestly, is removing the tape. This is my favorite part for sure. Removed all that tape, just let this cure overnight and you are good to go with your new rainbow doormat. Here is the simplest project of the video. I'm starting off with the Mammut stool, which is a children's stool. It's just a plastic stool. It cost $7 at Ikea and I assembled it. And all I'm going to be doing this stool is spray painting it with two generous coats of the terracotta spray paint I've been featuring on my channel lately. I just love the finish of this. And when I saw this stool, I loved the arched legs of it. I thought it kind of gave a very nice plant stand look and also kind of matched with current trends in home decor. So I figured I was gonna spray paint this and you could spray paint this however you would like but I wanted to do terracotta just to give it a more natural kind of earthy tone and I just gave it two full coats let it dry overnight and turned it into a super affordable plant stand <laughs> And for our last project, you know I had to save my favorite one for last. This is the Ivar cabinet from Ikea, and I'm using this as a base, and it is essentially just a simple pine cabinet with some shelves on the inside, and I believe that these are traditionally meant to kind of create your own storage solution, but they're also super DIYable and customizable because they're just a simple pine wood. So I assembled it based off of the instructions, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know how Ikea furniture goes, and then I purchased a set of, like, I guess they're feet braces. I don't know the exact term of this, but I screwed them onto the bottom and then I screwed in these wooden legs that I also purchased on Amazon. So I'm going to link below the braces and the legs which you can purchase on Amazon. It kind of has a very mid-century look and I used my early American wood stain from Varathane to stain the top two-thirds of this cabinet because I really wanted to give it almost a color blocked effect but I didn't want the super light pine wood on the top. I kind of wanted something a little bit more warm and a little bit more deep because I'm actually going to be giving this to my dad for Father's Day. Um, I know he wanted something similar to this piece and I was like I'm gonna just create one of my own so I used a piece of painters tape to mask off the bottom third and you can create a line whatever you want to do I added a couple of line marks all the way around and then I used the same exact hail navy paint which you could see in the top left corner of this video that is the paint color on my dining room wall and I had some extra in my stash so I just decided to paint the bottom half with the navy color because I thought it would fit his aesthetic pretty nicely so I used a brush and painted this all the way around and I did two two full coats of this paint on the bottom third of the entire piece and I also added it to the legs which I think is super important because it really gives a finished look going in with just a smaller little detail brush here to add any more additional details and I just felt like it was not finished it doesn't need to have handles however I felt like adding these nice golden handles which you guys saw in my Amazon favorites recently would just create such a pop and it literally finished this piece perfectly So those are my projects for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Ikea Hacks video. I really, really love the outcome of all the projects. But yeah, guys, I think that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And also, guys, don't forget to check out the Lone Fox Journal. I will link it below for you and read that introductory post. It's called A New Chapter. And basically, I talk about kind of how I started social media, how I got into blogging first back in almost 2010. It's been a long time. And how I transitioned that into my YouTube channel, my Instagram, and kind of like the rise of Lone Fox. So I give a lot of details on a lot of stuff I haven't really talked about in the past. So definitely check out that post below and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Lone Fox Home and subscribe to my channel here for brand new content every single week on home decor and DIY. But that is enough shelf promotion. I will let you guys go. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.